What we got here is not just a simulation of Cisco routers and switches, ESXi host with virtual machines or windows, but a simulation of all of these networking technologies that can be implemented in a real network environment. My simulation environment is composed of a laptop, a CPU with 4 cores and 32 GB of memory, and Windows 10 desktop operating system connected to my wireless network. Installed on this laptop are VMware Workstation Pro 15.5, where GNS3 BM and two VMware ESXi hosts are installed. Installed on the GNS3 VM are Windows Server 16, Ubuntu Docker, and Cisco routers and switches. $199 at Cisco. Note, turn off Windows Firewall and Antivirus before doing anything in GNS3. VMware Workstation allow only 19 connections in GNS3. GNS3 will remap your network settings whenever you turn on and run your project. Allow GNS3 to create the 2 to 19 VMNet drivers and be aware that the GNS3 will also reconfigure your first bridge network card, VMNet0, disconnecting your virtual machine from the external network. Power up your network devices one at a time to prevent from overwhelming your laptop CPU and memory. First thing to do when building a network is to configure a DNS server or else you'll have difficulty configuring your ESXi host. Once up and running and connected to the cloud which is my external network, install and configure your ESXi host, vCenter server appliance and virtual machines. Then configure your switches and routers. Note also that Windows Server and the two ESXi hosts are connected to my external network as shown. Ensure that they are connected by pinging their IP addresses from your laptop for GNS3 will remap their network card to some other drivers. Connection of ESXi hosts to Cisco switches is based on external switch tagging EST and Cisco switches and router is what you call router on stick. To test our simulation, we will ping all the workstations and virtual machines configured in vCenter starting from guest 1. Pinging from guest 1 to 2, 3 and the two tiny Linux virtual machines tested good as shown. Pinging from the tiny Linux virtual machine at the vCenter also tested good. You need to monitor your CPU and memory utilization of your desktop and GNS3 BM as shown.
You also need to ensure that the ESXi host and vSphere server network card settings are what you intended it to be and not changed by JNS3. Stay tuned for my next video for more detailed installation and configuration of my simulation.